Hello guys, it's Lizzie, and today I'm going to be giving you a review of the Jim Henson's Labyrinth board game that was made by River Horse and released this year. So let's get started. So I'm just showing you the front now of the board game. You've got the Labyrinth maze, you've got the title of the game, you've got a little viewfinder where you can see all the figurines, and you've got images of the main characters that are inside the game. When I turn it onto the back, it gives you a rough rundown of what the story's about and then it tells you what should be included in the box. And it also gives you a rough idea of what the game actually looks like. So when opening the box, this is what it looks like. You've got a velvet packaging inside of it. And now I'm going to give you a rough rundown what's inside. So the first thing's first is that you've got four character sheets at the front. I'll just show you an example of Hoggles. You've got four little stands that you put the picture images on. You've got sets of dice for the actual playing cards themselves. And then you've got the actual figurines which are made of out of some kind of plastic. You've got Hoggle, Sarah, Zedidimus and Ambrosius and Ludo. So underneath the game, and you should have a booklet which actually looks like Sarah's Labyrinth book within the film, and this is the rules book. So flicking through it, it'll tell you the game component, other devices like the picture card, dice, what they do. It'll give you a rough rundown of how to start the game, when you're running the game, what happens if you lose, what the cards are used for, etc. And how to play as a group, and it just kind of goes on from there really. And then you should get another sheet, which all depends on if you've pre-ordered the game from River Horse or in general where you got it from. It should hopefully be inside of the box. And then you've got the actual game itself, the board, which is incredibly massive and it actually takes up half of my desk. And then you get these other cutouts. You've got the dial, you've got these tokens, some of Ludo, and you've got some of Cherif. And then you've got these picture cards. The sands that I showed you earlier are used for these. So first of all you've got four character sheets. You've got Hoggle, Sodidimus, Ludo and Sarah. So on these you've got the character Speed, Wit, Brawn and these are represented by different coloured dice and then you've got the starting willpower and also another neat thing that I saw is you actually have quotes said by the characters I should have four stands and they're for the pictures I showed you earlier and then the dice you have different coloured dice and different dices have up to a certain number that all depends on what you're playing for then you get a set of four different cards. You get six reference cards, four card stand-ups, 32 labyrinth cards, and then you get cards that are actually for the characters. So the green cards you should have roughly six of those. So you've got different ones like humongous and goblin. Then you've got four character cards. Now they've got information on the front and then they've got the pictures of the characters on the back. But what the difference is, you get this set again, apart from this a difference. One of the sets will say weakness, and then the other one will say special ability. So you've got ability cards, and you've got weakness cards. 
and then you get just a normal pack of cards which has got the really nice design for the labyrinth back and you should have roughly about 32 cards I'll just quickly flick through them now the different things like junkyard and fairies goblins then you've got the actual characters they look absolutely amazing you've got hoggle and i really like the design at the back where you can see like the face sarah Jareth, a nice touch for Jareth is you've got the rib cage at the back, which I thought was really cool. You've got Ambrosius with Sardidimus, and then you've got Ludo. And again, I'll just quickly show you um, the expansion pack for the Goblin, which, by the way, do not come painted. They come plain, like the other ones have. And then you've got the rule book, which I think is really cool that it actually looks like Sarah's book as well. But then you've got the actual game, which again, as I said before, absolutely massive takes up half of my desk literally so if you are going to play make sure you've got a lot of room and you get these then you get these two kind of cut outs you've got tokens you've got images for the stands and you've got like a dial now all i'm doing is literally trying to replicate what's on back of the box so i've put the characters down and I'm putting some of the cards down. And then I'm putting the character mats down. They're matching weakness and special cards. And then other things such as the dice and everything else. So what do I think? Overall I think the game is definitely worth value for money. You can tell, especially on the cards, that they are not a really thin, fl flimsy type of material. They're quite decently made. The only negativity I'd have to say is I think they should have been laminated, or at least made a bit stiffer. Another thing that I would have changed is I think the figures should have come painted at least if not made of a better material i think it does let it down there are people that can paint them for you but overall i'd have to say um if you are planning to play this game i would heavily suggest not paying over 40 pounds i don't think this game is worth more than 40 pounds i've seen better games for less there are many different ways that you can get hold of the game it was only available on pre-order there will be certain companies that have bought it off river horse to actually sell it on to people who didn't pre-order and i was one of those so that's it for the video and i really enjoyed it if you have any questions just let me know and leave them in the description